So maybe you're a teacher and you are making some math notebooks for your students. How do you go about that to get the exact grid pattern easily? Now you can obviously pay for that paper. Um, you can buy that digital paper and make it, but you can, you, you can buy that digital pattern, but if you want to do it on Procreate um, easily with just one stroke, how would you go about it? So you go to the brush panel and go to the textures panel, which is a pre-made panel by Procreate, and set it to the grid brush and set your size to whatever size you want. Um, honestly, I find it best at the full size if you want to do like a math book. And if you see on the side over here, you can see that we've got that grid. So if you want to get something like that, just go about like, like this. Use that grid brush in the textures panel and then just use one stroke. Make sure not to lift your Apple Pencil or whatever stylus you're using. Make sure not to lift it if you do do that, then it will go on top of each other, double line, and it will not look good. So, we're going to do it in one one whole stroke. Um, and if it, if it doesn't happen in one whole stroke, you can see what happens. It does not look good. So, we can just go about it in one whole stroke without um, the lifting the pencil above. As you can see, I've got this beautiful grid pattern. So, what you can do now is head back so you basically um what you can do oh sorry that's another one so what you can do now is go back to your procreate gallery and get select your artwork uh wait one minute yeah what you can do is select your artwork and click share in the png format and then what you do is click save image and then your image will be saved into your gallery your um your photos and what you can do is you can print that out and make like a math notebook so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye